Yeah. I think it's really great that you still enjoy martial arts even after you're done fighting. Like you still love to train and improve. Like we were talking about how the fact that you just trained with Freddie Roach, and before this, uh, we were talking about how you're going to go to Puerto Rico and train with the Donaher Death Squad. Like you're going to go down and train with those guys. You're literally going to go to a fucking island to go ju do jujitsu. <laughs> you know? I I like the confidence that martial arts give me because I I. I started when I was very young and it saved my life, you know, because I, I started when I was bullied uh, in, in school and uh, it, became an, it became an habit. And if I don't do it, I'm not happy and I don't feel confident. I remember when I was a kid, I was looking at myself in the mirror and I didn't like myself. I didn't like what I, what I saw in myself because I wanted to change my environment. And martial art taught me that if you want to change your environment, you want to change yourself, you need to love yourself first. And I learned how to love myself. I didn't love right away in the beginning who I was, but I love who I could become. And I wanted to become that person that I visual visualize the idea Georges George St. Pierre that I could become. That's mm. when I start training. And that's when I start looking at people in the eyes instead of looking down. And when I shake mm. someone's hand, I, I have firm grip. And I, I, when the teacher was asking a question before, I was always like this, always the last to answer. Now I was taking charge. Hey, I know the answer. Five plus five, it's 10, for example. Yeah. Mm. I, I exteriorize myself. I got out of my comfort zone. And it start building up my confidence. And, you know, like in, in life, the bully, it's like a predatory animal. It will never hunt the strong alpha male. It will go right. for the weak. And it's the same thing. So I wish I could tell you I get out of my bullying because I kick all their ass because I've learned karate. But that's, that's not how it happened. It happened because I gained confidence. And by gaining confidence, I became someone different. I became a different person. And that's why I like to go to Puerto Rico to train. Because if I don't have martial art, if I walk to a place, perhaps it's the remnants of what happened in the past for me, I will not feel confidence. Maybe it left a scar in my mind. I don't, I'm not a psychologist, but may, perhaps that's what a psychologist will, will tell me. Because... It left a big scar in in in. But in I think that scar is a gift. It because could be. I think it is with you because I think that scar forces you to continue to grow and learn. And even though your your competitive career as a professional and as a champion may or may not be done, depending on whether or not Dana White shows up with a check, <laughs> <laughs> it each shows up with a good check and at the right time. So. <laughs> the money and the timing, Dana, very important. Very important. <laughs> Show up at Wild Card Gym while you see him in the South yeah. Boss dance. <laughs> but even if that doesn't happen, you, what's what's important yeah, is man. that that gift makes you constantly look to improve yourself. And yeah. Because you know the benefits of that. They they even though like you would think like people listening to this going wait 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 George St Pierre has a confidence thing like you're the fucking one of the greatest of all time. If you have like a list of like the Mount Rushmore of great martial artists, you're on that that Mount Rushmore man. Yeah. But still, you're honest and you're honest about your your feelings on these things. And I think it's a very important thing for people to hear because there's a real great benefit for anybody in challenging yourself. It's a great benefit. And it, it doesn't mean that you have to be a, a world champion. Does it? Like as a martial artist, comparing yourself to who you used to be is what's important. Who were you last week and who are you now? Are you growing? Are you getting better? Are you learning new skills? Because if you're not, you're doing it wrong. You're yeah. supposed to. You're supposed to be challenging yourself. Yeah, yeah. I, I think that's the, the biggest benefit for me. Um, you know, like, like, and it helped me love myself. You know what I mean? I, yeah. I like to, to be fit. I like to be in good health. And uh, that's what martial art taught me. And, and it's something that changed my life. You know, that, that's one of the benefits. Of course, if you look at competition in mixed martial art, you know, sometimes it has a very, uh, you know, violent ending. But what it can bring to an individual, it's 
so much you know it, it's so much more positive than the, the, the what you see sometime on, yes. on tv and i think it would benefit the bullies too I've always said, like, people say, like, what's the best way to stop bullying? Well, teach everybody how to fight. Because a lot of the reasons why the bullies do it, because they're looking for some sort of external validation. They're looking to dominate people to make themselves feel better. But if they could just learn martial arts, the, the people that we know that are good at martial arts are some of the nicest people in the world. Yeah. Like, jujitsu people in particular. They're so nice. Most people that I know that are just fucking stone cold killers. They're so friendly. They're I, so nice. You know, I, I grew up in Canada and I feel very lucky to grow up in Canada, but it's not sometimes because you grew up in a nice place that nice things happen. You know what I mean? Everybody can face different adversity. And I and, and, and I think it's important to to love yourself, to accept yourself as a person if in order to change your 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 surrounding. And, mm. and, and it's, it's very important in life and in, in everything, you know, like if you want to if you want to do good, you have to, to look at yourself in the mirror and accept who you are and who and, and try to be who you want to become. Yes. You said it uh, once, I, I believe you said, you know, we talk about loving yourself. Sometimes you love yourself a lot, a lot. Sometimes you don't. Right. Because we all do things that we regret. Sometimes nobody is perfect. Sometimes I, I look at myself in the mirror and I'm like, man, I just did something very stupid. I don't really love myself. Sometimes I love myself a lot. but. You said it like you're not the person who you are who you were in the past. You're the person who you are now. And yeah. and and I remember I've I've learned that from you. And it's it was a great code that inspired me, and it's the truth because we all learn. You know, sometimes we talk about someone. Oh, I don't want it, but that person is not the same that you met in the past. He perhaps is different. He, perhaps it's bet it's he's better or maybe yes. he's worse. You maybe know? he's worse. That's right. Yeah, you have to internalize that that you just because you've made mistakes, you are not the person who you were when you were at your lowest mistake you have to realize those mistakes although they're very painful they're very valuable because they teach you how you not how you want to never be again if you don't experience yourself at a low point you don't know how bad it is mm. like you have to experience those bad moments to know like oh i'm capable of complete total failure that's right like now i have to i have to like never allow myself to get to that place again and for many fighters there's there's fighters where they quit in a fight and then they they always quit but some fighters quit they're like i'll never fucking quit again yeah and they grow stronger because of that so sometimes people say well once a quitter always a quitter i say bullshit that's right because some some guys have quit and because of that they're more dangerous than ever because they had to go home and live with themselves because of that quitting and they fucking hate it so they train harder than ever and they're terrified of that weakness so they're a horrifying fighter to face because they've f faced the worst possible feeling you can feel sometimes the worst feeling you can face as a fighter is not loss but failing yourself, knowing that you could have done more, but quitting. 